everybody and welcome back to my channel um today i have a tag video to share with you guys and it was created by miss lisa b from lb um here on youtube so go and check it out uh, i was also tagged by amy from fashionably amy so i will link their youtube channels in the info bar below now lisa was the original creator of this tag so thank you so much doll for tagging me um but basically it is i can't believe i haven't mentioned it yet but it is the well, handbag for every occasion tag and the gist is I go through the different scenarios or I go through my go-to bags for each different sort of occasion or scenario um, and bear in mind I do own a lot of bags so I, it changes all the time but I thought I'd mention the ones that I do reach for or gravitate towards the most for you know each particular occasion mentioned in the tag so she did um list six different types of bags or different types of scenarios occasions so um yeah now before i do continue if you enjoy these type of handbag tag videos or luxury um videos you definitely hit that thumbs up button and also subscribe if you haven't already um, and make sure you do hit the notification bell because uh, I, I although I try to make a video every single week I can be a little bit sporadic and yeah you, you best hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss any videos from me so here we go guys first occasion is a casual bag so um, when I think casual I just think like a grab and go sort of almost everyday bag did pick the pochette matisse and um, the reason being is it is in the louis vuitton canvas so it's really durable and it will take you through you know most of the things that you don't expect to be doing but it also it fits quite a lot so you know if you need to be taking um anything extra this will fit in there and obviously it does have more of a casual vibe because of that um because of the canvas but a really really gorgeous everyday type of casual bag um, and yeah I really love this one the next category mentioned is a work bag now for me I have two main bags that I sort of switch between for work and that is my Neverfull and my Balenciaga metallic age city generally I like to pick bags for work that are not too you know uh too labeled so that's why you know i've been i have been using my balenciaga recently but i have switched back to my neverfull and i have to admit nothing really beats a neverfull for work it just fits everything in it although you know the damier ibin is a pretty obvious louis vuitton print i do feel like it's not you know it doesn't scream lv as you know compared to a monogrammed bag so i do like it in the damier ibin print um now as you can see this is what i'm currently using for work and it's got you know my laptop notebooks extra notepads um, hand sanitizer like pens medication so it's it just fits so much in here and I can just keep stuffing it up so I can put my lunch water bottle um, like anything and everything in here and this is such a hardy bag it can take anything and because of the canvas I'm not afraid to put it on the floor if I need to so it's just like easily one of my favorite tote bags full work and honestly speaking if this became damaged I would you know straight away purchase another one because because this is just my favorite work bag to use so yeah um now I have to admit because I do use this for work I get sick of it so I don't regularly reach for it for you know a casual you know when I'm actually going out with friends and things like that that is my work bag now the next category is travel and honestly I haven't done a lot of overseas travel a lot of my travel has been interstate and I do mix up my bags quite a lot there is one bag that I will mention later but I do also want to use that for another category so I'll save that one later but to mention if I was traveling especially overseas a handbag that I would instantly reach for to bring with me is definitely my Chloe Faye backpack. Now, I actually purposely got this for travel because when I went overseas to Europe, I had a sports girl backpack which was convertible and it was the best thing that I could have traveled with. Um, it was a black backpack. 
similar to this and it also had a strap above so you could convert it from a shoulder bag to a backpack anytime you wanted. Ever since then I have actually been on the hunt for a designer version of that just because designer handbags do tend to last a little bit better and they're you know better built. That particular bag was stolen <laughs> so anyways I did find this and as soon as I saw it I instantly fell in love because it is a convertible backpack so you can actually remove this and you can use the straps as a longer strap or you can use this shorter strap as like a shoulder bag so really really convenient if you don't want something that you know is always gonna be you know that's always a shoulder strap you can change it and use it as a backpack and backpacks for me are the best travel bags hands down I know I, I could have mentioned a never full but they sort of they tend to be quite open and I'm definitely not the type to be able to cut around a wallet on chain only as a travel bag. Um, for me, every time I go traveling, especially somewhere overseas or somewhere I've never been to before, I carry quite a few things with me. I need to carry like my camera, a few lenses, SD cards and all those other good stuff. So I like to, to bring a bit with me. So I definitely need something like this to lug around. Another travel companion is obviously my Louis Vuitton um, bandolier 45 but I have to admit sometimes I don't take that with me because it can be a little bit like heavy um, to wear so um, that's why I didn't mention that but definitely this Chloe Faye backpack for travel so there you go now just very briefly there is a bag that I've been reaching for lately every time I travel interstate and that is actually my um, Saint Laurent Kate tassel bag and um, the reason I'm not mentioning it in this category is because this is actually the bag that I've selected as my day to night bag as well. This bag as you can see is a like a gorgeous chain bag um, and for me this fits more than enough for a day you know for a daytime bag I can actually fit my vlogging camera in here I can fit my phone you know extra like um, contacts glasses it fits usually all I really need for the daytime and then obviously because of the design of the bag you can transition it into a nighttime clutch as well so a really really nice sort of versatile bag and, and the reason I always gravitate towards this for when I'm traveling interstate is you know obviously you want a bag that can transition you know day to night if you need it um, you, you want quite a versatile bag and this fits the bill also it's very very hearty because of this leather so I don't really have to worry about packing it. I can actually pack it in my suitcase or I can carry it with me as a hand hand carry or a personal bag. So yeah, really this is a date to night bag and for that reason it's also one of my, you know, uh, reach for travel companions when, you know, um, traveling interstate. I probably would also bring this overseas, not gonna lie, so yeah. Now I did gloss over evening, um, but as I said that Kate bag does transition into an evening bag for me, but on a separate note, I, you know, I've loved using my wallet on chain as an evening bag for the longest time, especially for anything with gold accessories. I love, love, love this bag. You know, granted it won't fit my camera or, you know, any other bits and pieces, but generally it fits most of what I need for nighttime because obviously it's got the card compartments at the back so I just put it in there um, and then I can slip my my phone in there and then I could just you know wear it as a clutch just like this and then if I want to go dancing or anything like that afterwards I can actually carry it as a shoulder bag so a really really lovely evening bag for me and um, yeah just a classic evening bag <laughs> All right, moving on, the last bag that I did want to mention is minimal. Now, for minimal, I'm thinking, you know, you're not doing much, you just need to bring a bag for your phone, your keys, something small, and minimal for me, um, there's two particular bags that I do go back and forth between. One of them is the wok, you know, whether it is the black one or the red boy, but because I've mentioned the wok already, I do want to say one of my favorite sort of minimal bags is actually my Chanel Mini and um, yeah it's just a really really cute small bag and I wear this with like um, sweatshirts with you know crop jeans with shorts whatever and because obviously it's a mini it doesn't hold that much um, I can just 
th- shove things in there, not worry about it, and then be out the door. Um, yeah, it's not as fussy as a wok, but I do, you know, I, I, I do obviously love my wok, so I do switch in and out between both of these depending on the outfit that I'm wearing, but this would definitely have to be one of my go-to minimal bags to wear. So that is it, guys. That is the tag video. Um, I hope this helped any of you guys that are looking to buy any particular style of bag for an occasion or gave you like a few ideas. I really enjoyed this, doing this tag video so if you did too make sure you give this video a massive thumbs up and if you want me to do any tag video just comment in the comment section below and just make sure if there is already a comment on a tag video you want me to do just give it a thumbs up so that I can see which one you guys want me to do next. Um, honestly pretty sure that everyone has already done this tag video but I will try and brainstorm and have a look at who has an hour and I will tag them in the comment section below but for those who don't have YouTube channels and you know you still want to do this tag I would love to see it in the comment section just list them down below I would love to see what your go-to bags are for each occasion um, but yeah that is it thank you so so much for watching and supporting me as always um, love you guys so so much and I hope you guys are having a wonderful week or weekend and I'll see you in my next one bye